Welcome in Italy again, welcome on the Linear Rock program. Let's talk about your second new album. Blunt Force Trauma is the title, a solid work of Trash Death Metal released three months ago. It appears more aggressive than the debut album. Was it a natural evolution or you have decided before writing and compose the songs? Well, uh, me and Max, we, we wanted to do something very uh, direct, very raw. And, and that's how the album came out. Uh, that was the idea behind it. It was just, you know, to have something very, very short and, and very extreme. But, you know, it, it wasn't no, no really big plan before we did the album. It was just how it came out once we start playing it. Okay. How was born the idea of the title, Blunt Force Trauma? I think Max was watching a, a movie and he saw that, that uh, the, those words and then he liked it because it, it, it represents when a person gets into an accident and it's, it's a very traumatic like punch like you know and that's how he, fe he felt the first time he heard the album he felt kind of like the same way so he decided to name the album and I felt it was really cool. Okay. For me, the title track seems inspired to Scandinavian melodic death metal. Is there any band that you like of that territory? No, not one in specific, you know, but... I don't know, I really like the old, uh, like the entombed stuff, you know, it's okay. really amazing, but that out of the newer stuff, there's not really something that I can name that inspired, especially that song, you know, for yeah. example. Can you talk about the lyrics of the, la the new album? It's not a concert album, I think. No, no, it's you know, it's just different topics that me, I, me and Max actually were talking about. Things that inspire us to, to do this album, and uh, it's just different things from uh, from books to movies to general mm -hmm. things in life. And uh, there's songs from uh, Rasputin, Genghis Khan, like different characters in history that you know inspire him to write about it. And, just different topics. Okay. There's not one topic that represents the whole album. Okay. Igor, it passed four years from the reunion with your brother. How do you judge these four years in Cavalera Metal? I think it's it's great because uh, at first a lot of people were skeptical about this being just a one-shot thing, just a one album and we're gonna be done. And, but this is, you know, second album and uh, it was more solid as a band and I'm uh, really happy because uh, the response of the crowd everywhere we've been playing with the first album now with the second album with the new songs are, are being very amazing so I couldn't be happier. Okay. Once again Max and Mark have done a great job with uh, their guitars uh, and you on drum stroke hard. A difference from the debut album, there is uh, Johnny Cho. How do you think uh, he has improved your sound? Well, actually, Johnny came in right after we finished recording the first album, you know, because we knew that Joe de Plantier couldn't do the, the whole tour. He was just a, an inv like invite for the album. And then after we toured a lot with Johnny Chow, we decided to get him to do the album. He was solid already on bass with everyone in the band. So that was like very easy to, to go in the studio with him. He already knew the way we played and, and things like that. So it was the best uh, combination to go in the studio. Perfect. About tour, you had planned one, one as a headliner across Europe or the show Gods of Metal is the, the only for Italy? Well, actually, we, we do have uh, some plans of doing another run as, as headliner, and, but we'll see. It, it all depends. Like with Cavalera, it's, it's yeah. different because we just take things day by day, and uh, we all def have different projects, and uh, we're going to see when we're going to be able to come back and do a full headlining tour. Yeah, you know. but now you remain in Italy in a Euro for a summer festival? Or? Mostly summer festivals and there's a few headlining shows yeah. in between the festivals. Depend by yeah. the country, right? And uh, Oh, welcome. He's back. But <laughs> oh, we have yeah. finished, Mark. Me too, yeah. You done? Or? We have finished. <laughs> no, you go for the last one. Right? The last question. That'll be a good one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we have talked about the, the new album, the tour. We talk um, about the title. But... Um, Mark and Igor, have you 
think about uh, the next work? Uh, have you some uh, ideas? Start writing, or there are will be different by this uh, last blunt first trauma or not? Well, actually, it's there's, now there's always there's always an inspiration to, to do stuff. Me and Max, we talked a little bit about going in and, and doing some more stuff for the next album, you know. So, but that's that's the cool thing about Cavalera. There's no big pressure of doing something, you know, like right now or when we're gonna do it. It's just when it when we feel it's time and then we're gonna go and do it. But there is already some inspiration from touring and from just talking yeah, to yeah. each other. And when you think it's um, start to recording the next year, 